Hello and welcome to the 2015 East Coast Bull Bars Australian Rally Championship. I'm Dean Herridge, great to be with you this season. I'll be with you the whole five rounds of our exciting championship and you'll be able to keep up to date with all the news, the views and all the action on rally.com.au. This weekend, of course, is all about the Quit Forest Rally. We're currently here in the glorious town of Nanup on a fantastic day and plenty of action to, uh, to come to you. This season is going to be full of excitement. Our outright category got champions coming back. Eli Evans and the brother Simon Evans, former champions here, fighting it out. Some young guns, Steve McKenzie. Molly Taylor takes over last year's championship winning car of Scott Petter to have a crack in our outright category. Four-wheel drives are back bigger than ever. Former champ Justin Dow's back, Henry Knott, Mark Petter and a lot of locals here in Perth fighting out as that championship builds in stature. Our classics are back this year. Side by sides will start in Canberra, our next round. But this weekend, it all starts today. A bustling service park behind me. Let's go and get the news and the views of our drivers before they head out to our first gravel stage of the season. But the rally starts here for me, so um, gravel set up going in the car now. Uh, from testing, felt really good. I've only done 100, 100 kilometres in the car total now, so steep learning curve. Um, I need to be realistic, but I'm um, still going to try and win it. Is this, are you at all a little bit nervous? I mean, this is, um, you're back to sort of having to develop a car. You know, you're really at one with the, with the Honda when you ran there. This is a really new thing for you to be trying to develop a car on the run, as you said, limited time in the car. Sort of a, a new, new part for you to play here. Yeah, look, I'm excited about running the new car, the Citroen DS3. It's an awesome little package. Um, developing it, not really, it's a pretty proven car, so we've just taken a few things from Citroen, that information we've been given, and I've just tweaked them slightly to suit myself, but uh, nervous about racing Simon, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Excited about the car, nervous about Simon. I wouldn't want to be dad right now, <laughs> but look, you know, Eli's a fantastic driver, and I think you'll see him shine out there on the gravel, yeah. and, you know, and I think that's what makes me want to beat him as well, yeah. so, you know, like, when he's, he's so good, um, you know, it's a, it's a real challenge, and he's at the top of his game, so... Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. To be honest, we just want to get through that first stage. It's a nice short little blast and uh, it's only 6Ks long and then you've got the 26Ks of Ferndale. So that's the stage where it's going to make or break the rally, that one. It's really a baptism of fire. As you're saying, traditionally Ferndale and that sort of stage, we see lots of attrition, cars have an issue. So it's getting through. It's a pretty important part of just building your weekend and you're trying to gain the more points. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm taking an educated guess on going with hard compounds on the front. Okay. So... And I'm figuring we're going to get lots of wheel spin and uh, we're going to be frying tyres. So I'm going to <laughs> just do the best I can with, uh, with what we've got and you know, we'll, we'll take it one corner at a time. Former champ, mate, great to have you back. And I reckon you're going to have a great battle this weekend with plenty of different cars. Yeah, I hope so. Um, you know, there's a couple of new guys that are fairly quick, so uh, it's not going to be all our way, but we're going to try our best. What do you find that you like about you know, the, the West Australian roads and also what do you find the, the thing you have to concentrate the most on that you struggle with maybe? Uh, definitely the grip. You know, it's, uh, once the roads sweep up, it's all right. But that first pass, especially you know, being car one, two or three on the roads, particularly hard. Unfortunately, the maxi car didn't arrive in time. There was just some dramas with import paperwork out of Argentina. But, um, yeah, not a bad backup, is it, to have um, JD lend me the polo for the weekend. So, yeah, I've done a few events in that last year, as you know. Um, but, yeah, great little fun car. Um, so, yeah, we should have a blast on these roads. So, tell me, are we softly, softly break ourselves in or are we going for it straight off? Nah, I don't like the softly, softly bit. <laughs> That's no fun. No, look, you know, we just need to get in it, get in a good rhythm as soon as we can. It's... You know, coming from doing the WRCs, we got three days, you know, long 350Ks. This is a, effectively a short rally. It's a sprint, so we have to, you know, be pushing out of the box, and I think that's the only way to get a good feeling.